Gee, the music stopped. Huh? Oh, stop. They're animals. But I think I'm hearing some bad kind of noises. Beat that. Nobody said nothing. Forget it. Somebody objecting to something? Would it matter if they did? Maybe. Now, what you do is your business. Maybe what you do is my business, too. I don't think so. Now, just take a look at these. I don't think they'll be of interest to you. Maybe not. Except I've been hearing about some wise-ass running around here drawing pictures of people. My fame precedes me. Is that how you get your kicks? Picking up on other guys? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you know what I mean by that. My friends and I, we don't like people watching us. And that includes drawing pictures. Is that clear to you? Oh, yeah, that's perfectly clear. Well, that's very good, because you're going to stop drawing them right now. I got to go, and uh, if you don't mind, I've got some pictures to draw. There's no trouble in here. Got that? No trouble, or I call the cops. I'll see you, friend. Yeah, man. Give you a good warning, Keeg. I wouldn't mess with that boy if I was you. Hold this. But you're not me, are you? He's been drawing pictures, all right. Plenty of them. You give him any trouble, he's got pictures of you and your whole gang he can take to the cops. No kidding. Is that the truth? You heard me. Ah. We're just going to have to see about that, aren't we? I wouldn't advise it. You wouldn't advise it, huh? Well, supposing you tell me where he lives. I don't know. You don't know? I didn't tell you I wanted to know where he lives! I told you I don't know! I don't know where he lives. Same place as Leah. Right upstairs, in fact. Now, let's get out of this toilet.
it to you. What do you want? I want some answers. That's what I want. I want to know what you're doing around here. Nothing that concerns you. Oh, yeah? Well, everything concerns me, man. Particularly when it has to do with your drawing pictures of me and my friends. You have friends? Oh, don't press your luck, babe. out for another few minutes. <sighs> Thanks. Out just long enough to let me refuel. What am I going to say to him? I don't even know him. It's your problem, not mine. Is he hurt bad? No, just an outside cut. I put in a few stitches. He'll be okay as long as he takes it easy. I can't imagine what he did to make Keek want to... So... It's Keek again. I should have known that bastard. One of these days, somebody's gonna blow the whistle on him. Yes. But not you. And not me, either. <laughs> from you for a while. How's the recruiting going? So, what's the problem? What are you getting so uptight about? So, my clients are getting restless, Keeg. They want to see some new faces, otherwise they're going to take their business elsewhere. Just told you there's no problem. I never let you down, did I? All right, look. Here's what I want you to do. I told them I'd bring some girls next week, but I made a promise to them. I've got to have one girl over the weekend. Can you deliver? Okay. I was planning a little party for this evening, but uh, <laughs> I can handle it. Bring a girl with a little class, will you? My friend, I've got a butte. Okay, be cool. Sorry, this is going to cost you more than one glass, kid. Here, take it all. Hmm. I'll give you some money, too. Well, where will you get money? Is your sister sending you some, or does her pimp take it all? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. 
No, maybe I did. Is that why you're playing nursemaid, to Leonardo da Vinci there? Has Keeg threatened to have his brother rough up your sister if you don't? Yeah. You can keep your money, Leah. Just keep it, I don't want it. But you tell Keeg this is the last time that I patch up one of his victims. The last time. You tell him that. No more. Not after that last one. I don't want to know about it. Don't tell me. He moved. Yeah, he'll be coming too in a minute. Then you're on your own. What am I going to say to him? Please stay a while. Not a chance. I don't want him to know me. What do I do if he wants to get up? He won't be too anxious to move. You can take my word for it. Well, I'm going. Good luck, Florence Nightingale. Thank you, Doggy. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for nothing. Oh, uh, if they happen to pick me up on my way home, carrying this, just send cigarettes. I'm sure you won't. You watch out, Leo. They can make you take care of his knife victims. He can make you join his pack. Never. That's sort of the way I say never when I'm treating cigarette burns where cigarettes ought not to be. I said never. Good night, Leo. Good night, doggy. Yes, this is my apartment. Where? I'm number 12, right downstairs from yours. Downstairs? Now, you must lie still. The doctor said so. Doctor? Yes. He sewed you up. I forgot how many stitches it was, but he said it wasn't deep. I know you. I drew your picture. Yes, I saw it. You uh, saw it? Yes. You tore it out. Tore what out? The art critic is going to cut me up. I don't understand. Oh, never mind. Are you mad because I looked at the pictures? No. Because I told the doctor well, I'd take care of you? I it has nothing to do with you. I'm sorry, I guess I'm just nosy. It's a pretty nose. So if you aren't mad at me, then can you tell me who cut you? I mean, do you know who it was? Can you tell me his name? One at a time, all right. I'm sorry. Why don't you, you lay back down and I'll go make some soup. You think these pictures really make it? Huh? What's going to happen when the man gets hold of these, huh? Cops got our pictures already. Most of us. That's right, they got our pictures already, but they don't have them like that. The man's got Sandy and I as if we're doing it there. Men usually are doing it with her. Oh, come on, that's very smart. I'm serious, if they get hold of these pictures, they're going to start connecting things up, right? The automobiles, the trips to the border, even the girls. Now, you think that we want pictures like this, huh? Hanging all over town? So, what are we going to do about it? Well, what the hell do you think we're going to do about it? I already gave the man a little taste of what I'm going to do about it. <laughs> yeah, Keeg opened his gut. <laughs> Why don't you shut up, you dumb... <laughs> I don't even know you. Look, so you cut him, so what stops him from going to the cops? He won't go to the cops, and don't touch me again. What makes you so sure? It doesn't matter what makes me so sure. I got that taken care of. The man will not talk. I think it would be bad for you to call the police. I mean, maybe if you did, this man who cut you might come back and do something worse. I'm not going to pretend that I'm not afraid of him. He's a maniac. 
Somebody's got to do something. I don't think you know these boys around here. They're like a club, and if you call the police on one, the others will get even. Leo, you can't let people get away with something like this. Now, somebody's got to have the guts to speak up. Here, I told the doctor I'd take care of you, and I will. So eat your soup and, and don't call the police hey. and... You don't have to feed me. I mean, there's nothing wrong with my hands. That is the bit, his hands. Now, we all got to find a way to get his hands and wreck them. Because without any hands, the man ain't gonna make no drawings. How do you see this thing? There's an accident. Some kind of an accident. Yeah, like he could fall into a lawnmower. Let's just slam his fingers in the car door and forget him. Yeah, the guy's hands, and him an artist. That's worse than killing him. Oh, does that make you afraid, my darling? Hey, give the guy a chance. Maybe he's scared off now, and you don't have to do nothing. What kind of a chance do you recommend I give him? Well, you cut him up. Maybe he took the hint. Maybe he won't draw no more. At least wait and see one way or the other. Gee, that's real good thinking. Yeah, no sense in trouble if you don't have to. You're showing a lot of potential, man. That was very intelligent. That's exactly what we're going to do. Isn't that wonderful? We're not going to touch the man now. But if he picks up one pencil to make one drawing of any kind, then we're going to get him. And that means we're going to get his hands. Ah, uh, you scared him pretty good already, so he'll probably split. Besides, how are you really ever going to know what he'll do? I'm going to know what he's going to do. I'm gonna know what he's gonna do every single minute. Because I got a pair of eyes watching every move that man makes. What are you doing? Do you wanna draw me again? Oh yeah, do you mind? No. You're a very pretty thing. As long as you don't make me like the others. What others? The ones in your book. Uh, they're just making love. That's what I'm doing, illustrating a book on the different ways people make love. I see. And in your pictures, it's only surface? That isn't love, it's only sex. Yeah. Well, there's a difference. Well, there is a difference, that's all. Now, how should I look? Uh, any way that's comfortable for you. You and Peach Fuzz go on over the artist's apartment. If you see any drawings lying around, get rid of them. What do we do if he's home when we get there? He's not going to be home when you get there. That's already taken care of. You sure? What apartment is it? I'm sure. He lives in apartment uh, 21. But he's not in 21. He's number 12. Now go on. Oh, no. No, no. Dear. You stay. I got plans for you, honey. That's right. Yeah. Finished. Can I see? Oh, you like it? I sure am a pretty thing, aren't I? Indeed you are. I think it's about time that I uh, hobbled back to my own humble little hub. No, you can't. Well, yes, I can. I, I've got to get a shirt. It's getting cold. You can't go walking all over town with stitches in your middle. Oh. Upstairs. Stay and draw me again. 
Frankly, it's getting late, and I, I'm afraid with this, and I, I feel a little tired. Please. Just do one more of me. I'll do one more of you tomorrow when I feel a little better. No, now, please. I mean, un unless... Unless what? Unless I'm not pretty enough. Are you kidding? You're the most beautiful girl I've ever sketched. I bet you've sketched lots of pretty girls. Professional models, too. I feel... Some are pretty. And some are too fat. They still use fat girls for figure studies. Figures? Nudes. I guess you get to wear... Well, I, I guess you get to where you don't even... You know. Maybe that's why they use fat girl. I'm not fat. If you'll stay and draw me again, right now, I'll let you draw me with no clothes on. I mean, you can draw me naked if you want. Uh, lovely. Uh, it's, it's wonderful that, that you want to entertain me, but... Look, soup and sympathy are more than enough. No, I'm serious. I mean, I, I don't think I'd feel funny being in front of you naked. Well, it's not something dirty. Lots of girls sit that way for artists, don't they? Of course, and there's nothing dirty about it. Shall I take my clothes off now? Hey, I, uh, do you have any idea of which a nude model gets paid? Someday when you're rich, you can pay me. This ever happened to Rim Ram. Send this home to Mama, huh? Let's take these back. you guys not to bring that stuff back here. I told you, go to the man's place and rip it up and destroy it. Oh, well, we tore the whole joint apart, but I thought you'd want to see these. What the hell does this man do, anyway? Look through keyholes? Huh? Look at this. Look at Sandy the Dandy. <laughs> oh, 
hope none of you have a soft spot for the man anymore in your hearts. It's quite obvious we're going to have to hurt him. You know, pictures like these, the man comes in here and gets hold of these, and he's going to bust us all right under the jail. This man keeps sounding off with his hands, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to make the punishment fit the crime. We're going to hurt his hands. Well, how so he doesn't talk? Uh, my friend, we just went through that a little while ago. We decided that it was going to be an accident. This man made the suggestion. Do you remember? What kind of an accident? Oh, right. Another country heard from, right? Don't worry about it. i tell you what we will do, okay? okay. i tell you what we will do. Give me your hand. We'll have a party. And we'll have a party for you. <laughs> Dougie Wuggie's party, okay? And then we'll have a wonderful time, and then we'll blast off to idea land, and that's how we'll worry about what we do to his hands. Okay? You okay. still got your acid? You're yeah. going to burn his hands, man? Oh, burn his hands with acid? No, my darling. No, my darling. We're going to drop it in our mouths. We're going to eat it. Why? Wow. Like people, okay? okay. And trip yeah. out. And then decide, okay? All right. As a matter of fact, I think that I have a... Uh, Pocket full of miracles for some of you people, not you, darling, Aww. but the rest of the people, the people, the grown-up people, will have... Oh, that's right. I have some lawnmower scraps from south of the border. Oh. <laughs> that be wonderful? Yeah. That's right. You still on your yellow kick, yeah, man? Very good. And then we'll put it in a pot, and we'll mix it all together, and the witch woman can stir the pot. Won't that be wonderful? Yeah. And then we'll blast off to Ideal Land. You girls all take your pills? Not you. You take your pills? Smile, darling. We're having a party. A party. You're going to get some like the big women do. <laughs> Look, there won't be any trouble. I just want my saber back. It means a lot to me. All right. All right. I've told you where they hang out. But don't say I didn't warn you. They're a dangerous bunch of guys. I can take care of myself. I know what I'm doing. Thanks. What are you talking about? I don't see any sword around here. Have you? Well, if you don't see one, I don't think you'll mind if I take this. I wouldn't. You're too well. makes you think I can even handle him. Because I know what you do to me. Hey. Now I think if you were to try real hard, you might be a real champion at it, honey. You know that offer I once made you about getting out of this dump still holds. Sure you'd take me out of here, wouldn't you? right into a plush Las Vegas apartment. My sister fell for that sister, line, but not me. Sister, why is it, darling, that you always bring up your sister whenever we talk? Huh? Your sister isn't anything like you. 
It would be entirely different between you and me than it was between me and your sister. My sister would have been all right if you and your brother had stayed out of our lives. Leah. Stairs. Perhaps the artist will give me a warmer reception. No, wait. What? Huh? What? I'm fine. Um, may I come in? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought I heard one of those guys from last night right away a few minutes ago, and I, I thought I'd better come down and see if you were okay. Oh, I'm fine. I'm really. I saw you come in a little while ago, but I wasn't dressed. You left your pad and pencil here last night. Do you want to finish your sketch? Yes, I'd like to. Uh, why don't you sit over here? I think the light's a little better. I suppose you boys would mind telling me just what the hell is going on here. Oh, it was that artist. He came looking for his sword. Gave it to him and just stood back and let him beat on you, right? And he took us by surprise. Yeah, we didn't have a chance. Both of you at one time. Isn't that something? Well, we're not going to worry about it right now because Tom just found out some guy over at work in Beko Park's got his bike, so we're going over to check it out. And if you two lovely specimens wouldn't mind, we'd sure as hell appreciate it if you'd clean it up right now. Huh? Clean it up.
know, it's against the law to drive in the park here with your motorbikes. Oh, is that right? You're a policeman? You're gonna stop us? No, look, I just work here. If the police do see you, they may give you trouble, that's all. Oh. I think you got that last part a little mixed up, man. I think that they're gonna give you trouble because there happens to be a law against stealing. So who's stealing? Right over there. <laughs> oh, wrong, buddy. I bought that bike. You bought that bike? Yeah. Then that means that you're calling me a liar, right? Look, I'm not calling you anything. I'm just trying to tell you I paid five bills for that bike. Well, that well, can't be, man, because that bike happens to belong to this man right here. Now, you go ahead and get it. Look, wait a minute. Wait a minute? Just a minute, though. What does that mean? It's some kind of a joke. I don't like a sense of humor. Okay, so why don't you guys just leave it where somebody gets hurt, please? I'm not a joke. Now, go on. Get on the bike. Oh! All right, you had your fun. You satisfied now? I wouldn't do that if I was you. You're a real tough guy, huh? I'm gonna have to beat some sense into you. Check I just picked up, man. Yeah? She's cool, though. I've seen her around the neighborhood before. Well, my darling, and what's your name? Janie. Janie. Mm -hmm. You'd like to join our club, would you, Janie? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> know, maybe. What does that mean, maybe? Huh? Well, it might be a gas. <laughs> uh -huh. Might be a gas. <laughs> what the hell kind of dialogue is that, man? We're having a nice party. This chick is right out of Squaresville with dialogue like that, maybe. <laughs> maybe, might be a guess. Dear, this is a club for big human beings. Big mommies and big daddies. I don't think you're gonna qualify for that. Yeah, well, I can take anything that you or your friends can put down. Oh! <laughs> 
She can take anything. Isn't that nice? Well, I think we'll find out. Oh, that scared you a little bit, didn't it? <laughs> I guess we're going to see you right away. Would that be okay with you? Sure. I told you I can take care of myself. Okay. Well, then we won't waste any more time, will we? There's just a couple things you should know, okay? Now, first of all, you have to have a sponsor. And the sponsor's choice has to be improved by all these wonderful people. Now, we're just like a country club, you see? Rules and regulations, just like them. We keep all the undesirable people out, and with all the desirable people, we don't let them out, honey, until we feel it's time. You got that? So far. Okay, now, just one more thing. There's only one person around here that says what can happen and what can't happen. And I'll bet by now that you guessed that that's big old Kiggy Wiggy, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, that's a good girl. Now, before you waste any more time with that uh, stupid grin on your face, why don't you just take that dress off that you got on? Now, wait a minute, you guys. Get in there and take it off, you understand me? You had a chance to walk up the stairs and you didn't take it. Now, stand there and take it off. No, let her do it herself, man. Let her do it herself. You gonna take it off or not? Huh? All right. All right. Yes, dear, you wanna mumble something? You don't what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, let's have a hand. Nice, hey, Walter. Walter. Very good. Walter did a wonderful job. I think you really passed those preliminaries, my darling. Now come up here where old Geeky Weeky can take a look at you. <laughs> Very good. Now, there's just one more thing here. And that is that your sponsor personally recommends you. Walter, my boy, do you think that you can show this girl where it's at, son? Sure thing, Keeg. <laughs> I'll it. change my mind. Oh, honey, you oh, can't I change your mind. Change. You can't change your mind. I told you to go up the stairs one minute ago, and you didn't go up. Now you're going to do it whether you want to do it. Now just shut up and stand there. Oh, come on, man. Just get on her and do it. That's it. Come on. Undo your belt, sir. <laughs> no! All right, now everybody get this, you understand? Now just listen, everybody just listen for one second. There is really only one purpose to this entire thing that we're doing, and that is to come up with one idea. You understand that? A way in which to chop off that artist's hands. are soft. It's more like love that way.
you like it. Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> well, that's a good name for a perfume to wear right now, hmm? Well, there's no sin here. There's only sin when there's no love. No beauty. Is there love here now? I'm sure there is. person that cut you. You know, when they do this, it's to hurt each other. Yet, here we are because of one of them. We wouldn't be here except for him. Maybe, maybe Cheeky Baby wants a drink. Yeah. Very good, a house special. <laughs> you betcha. Walter, bring me your ass. <laughs> make one just like Grandma used to make. You up. Come on, have a little drinky dinky. Huh? Oh, you don't need to jerk. Nobody's gonna jump on you. I'm gonna help you out. Like in the movies when you're in the desert, you take a drinky. Finish it up. That's right. That's very good. See that? I hope you all were paying attention instead of being in your own bags. Oh, I want you. Yes. because I feel guilty. Not at all. I wanted you, and you shouldn't feel guilty either. I'm crying because I'm stupid, Ronco, that's all. Ronco. I like that name. No, don't cry. Oh, you should cry from the pain in your stomach. Men aren't supposed to cry. <laughs> Stupid, they'd feel better if they did. Oh, they do. When nobody's looking. Ronco, I'm not a nice person. Are you gonna start that again? It's true. It's 
soon, tomorrow, maybe you're going to realize that. You'll hate me. That's impossible. No, no, it's possible, very possible. Love me until you hate me. You're a nut, you know that. Open up, police! Open up, police! I'll have to let him in. No. No, they mustn't find you here. He'll come back and kill us both. Ain't nobody would. All right. Just be quiet. Don't be afraid. I've got a pass key. You won't have to let him in. Just a minute. Looks like we interrupted something, Sam. You I know. What's your name? I'm called Pietro Andre. Where were you born? Warsaw. My parents went there from Hungary. We came here as refugees, and my papers are in order. I asked your name, not your life story. So you jumped the Berlin Wall, huh? Yeah. Well, took guts. How are your guts now? How were your guts yesterday? Huh. Okay, who cut you? It was an accident. Oh, an accident. That's what Docky said at first, but he changed his mind after he spent a night in jail. All right, now who cut you? I don't know, a stranger. Now why would a stranger want to cut you? He got mad when I did a sketch of him. Maybe he doesn't like artists, I don't know. There's some familiar faces, huh, Sam? Well, well, well. Got any more of these around? Like maybe a sketch of that, that stranger that cut you. Yeah. Yeah, I had one of him and lots of others. Somebody broke in my apartment yesterday and destroyed everything. Where's your apartment? Upstairs. Sam, get him up there fast, look around. Then bring him back down here. Look. I would make a sketch of that man that stabbed him. All right. All right, Leah. What do you got to say to yourself, huh? For your part in all this. Look, she had nothing to do with it. She found me bleeding in the hall. Never mind about her. Get going. I want to see those pictures. Sam, help him upstairs. I don't know anything. It's just the way he says it is. It's Keeg, isn't it? Keeg. He's threatening you if you don't cooperate, isn't he? He told me to keep the artist here and to keep him from calling the police. That's all I know, and I don't know who cut him. Oh, come on, Leah, fight back, will you? You've got to help me get the evidence I need to lock up that rotten bum. Why me? Because I know you're involved. What do you mean? What's all this about? I'm taking you both in. On what charge? We haven't done anything. Oh? Wow. Then what did we just interrupt here? Look, we're in love. We're engaged. Sam, they're in love. Well, that may be just dandy over in Europe, my boy, but in this country, it's against the law. You see, in the USA, you cannot legally sleep with anyone unless you have a license, a marriage license. That's a ridiculous law. Right, your congressman. Why are you doing this? Leah, I'm booking you on a charge of prostitution by means of contributing. Prostitution? You bullock. She is no prostitute, you bastard. Don't you call me a bastard, son. Listen, when a girl gives herself as a decoy to help somebody else commit a crime, she's just as guilty as they are. And she's guilty of prostitution, and it'll stick. What do you mean? I mean that your little girlfriend here is right in the thick of it. Right with that bunch that sliced you open and tore up your artwork. Look, 
She kept you busy here so they could break into your apartment. Not to mention the fact she kept you from calling the police. And she got you an unlicensed doctor. You see? Hey, comes. Oh, yeah, how could you? How are you gonna whore with... The world's full of them, son. That's why they got vice cops like me. Get your clothes on. Vice. That is it, a vice. That's right, sweetheart. Vice. A vice. Hey, a vice. That's it, a vice. Vice? Vice, yeah, you know, uh, 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 in Woodshop, at the end of the bench, Where's we had a, a vice, you know. Where's he gonna find one this time of night? Don't worry about it. Find a vice. They're all over town. You can go any high school has a vice. Now, go help him find a vice. Go on. Now, listen to everybody else. Later on, we're gonna have us a party. You understand that? We're gonna invite the artist to the party, and then we're gonna give him the old squeeze play, my style. I finally came up with the idea, okay? Everybody else, I'm very tired. Please, just get the hell out of here, okay? Come on, right now. Let's go. Everybody up. Let's go up. Let's get out. Doctor. Oh, man. Gotta have that doc you were talking about. Oh, dear, look, uh, if you gotta have doc, he's at the flower shop. You gotta go find him yourself. I can't help you now with that. I'm sorry. It's almost morning. He'll be there very soon. serve you any beer? <laughs> Smoking grass all night, man, and popping Amy's in acid, and she mustn't have beer. Need something. Please. Anything. Aspen. Sure, honey. You kids think you're smart with marijuana. Well, one of these days, the public will get wise and make it legal. Then it won't be fun anymore. Ain't the public standing in the way, man. It's the liquor lobby in Washington. Here, Janie. Nobody has trouble getting grass. Docky. Where's Docky? The flower shop wasn't there for work. No one's seen him since last night. You think he got busted? He was supposed to take care of the artist. I've seen him. Got it. Hey. What did Docky have to see what artist for? You mean Romko, the kid that comes in here? Just never mind, man. You ain't heard nothing. What's wrong with you? Nothing. If you're hurt, let me call you a doctor. Nothing is wrong. What? Where are you going? Docky. I can't find I've Got to find someone. Doctor. Stay away from the fuss. You do any talking? You know what happened. Now. Oh, I won't. I won't. I hate cops. Really. If I don't find them, I gotta find somebody to help me. Hey, Doug. What's going on around here? She just had little accidents. Yeah, she acts pretty sick, wanting Docky and all. How come Docky? Why not a legit Doc? Hey, wait a minute. Wait in the hell, big man.
are you doing? Where is she? Where's Leah? In jail, that's where. They took her in last night, her and that foreigner from upstairs. And her so pious. Hey, kid! You drink with me? Doc, there's no sign of him anywhere, man. I went to check on Leah, and, and the neighbor says that the cops picked her up. And the artist, too. That means they'll be looking for you, too, right? Cool. Man, I'm telling you, you got to split. you got to go away. Oh, and leave unfinished business? The artist is going to get a manicure. Now, that's all there is I to I told it. you the cops have him. Why do you keep worrying about it, huh? The man has very expensive clothes on all the time, doesn't he? Now, doesn't that mean very heavy bread to you, huh? Doesn't that mean that the man would have the own ability to bail himself out of jail? And that's exactly what he's doing now. He's probably bailing himself out of jail, and he's bailing the girl out, too. So just cool off. See? Man, you're too cool. You've got to be cool all the time. You worry too much. But... I'm all right. Do you know what a good thing to do is when you get all excited like that, huh, and upset? Take your clothes off. Oh, come on, man. This ain't no time for that. <laughs> hey, man, there's always time for that stuff. I just got an idea here. I think uh, we're going to graduate Sandy here today with full honors. And I'm going to let you present her with her diploma. Now, what do you want? You know what I want. I want you. And didn't I tell you for many, many times that it's time for a change? No, King, please, I'm begging. I don't want him. I want you. Well, then you've got a lot of problems, dear, because I don't want you. Have you gotten that message by now that I don't want you and the man right there does not want you? Huh? That means nobody wants you. Now, how are you going to make any money working for my brother if nobody wants you? Keith, Keith, I'll work good. You know I will. Keith, but why can't I work here for because you? Because I do not run the racket. Do you understand that? I don't run the racket. He runs it, not me. I do the hiring, the teaching, and the firing, and you're graduating, and that's it. Now, shut up. Oh, Keith, if I got to go, then... Are you ready? You know what she's asking for? She listen to this. She's asking for a kiss. One more time. I told you to get your clothes off. You shut up. Oh, come on, man. Really, I don't want to. She wants you. I'm going to tell you something like that. Wait just a second, man. There's a couple things you're going to have to learn around here before I go. And the first thing is that there's only one person around here that says what goes, and that's me. And when I say to strip, that's exactly what I mean. Now, strip. Okay. You not here? Forget it. I, I got something. I can give you something. You can give me what? What can you possibly give me? Well, I, I know this girl, and she's coming for kicks and fun, and well, she's got two younger sisters, two of them. I'll give you a name. That's exactly right. You'll give me a name. I hope she doesn't clutch me as much as you do either. Keith, I'll Keith. give you a name, and all of you just just one last time. Don't oh, make me do it with him, please. Please, don't make... please. Let no. go of me and leave me alone for the last time. Now sit down and shut up. And I am not kidding. Now, I'm going to teach you a lesson. I'm going to teach both of you a lesson. I'm going to teach it to you right now. This is going to be the most important e lesson either one of you ever learned in your lives. Now, I may split this set up very soon, man. But before I do, you're going to have to learn something. You're going to have to learn about that. A woman. And you're going to have to learn what women are good for. They're good for one thing. You know what that is? That's for being a whore. Because that's all you are, baby, and that's all any woman is good for. Making money off poor dumb Johns. 
I don't get you, man. You'll get me, man. You just hang on a second. Now, let me ask you a question. Huh? Would you like to lead this place one time, be the head man here? Oh, sure, man. Would you like yeah. to know how to handle women as well as I do? Oh, yeah, Keek. You would, right? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to give you a lesson right now. I'm going to show you that women also are good for only one other thing. You know what that is? Hmm? Can you take a guess? Uh, sure. That's right. That's to cry. And when you can learn to make them cry, then you can learn to make money off them. Shouldn't be running. You'll pull your stitches. Wait a minute, please. I'm sorry. I apologize for the stupid things I said. Leah, I love you. After all of this, you still don't see what I am, do you? You are stupid. Were you the one who made my bail? Doesn't make any difference. It does. Well, don't worry about it. You'll get it back when I go to trial. Most of it, anyway. Leah. Look, you can't stay here now. Come away with me. I love you. Love? I spit on you. Leah, well, yeah, you can't. You are stupid. Can't you see that I am a whore? Besides, do you think I'd waste my time on you? Well, you don't have enough money. Look, you made my bail. Well, that's what you owe me for last night. Now, now go away and leave me alone! Gracious, he wants mercy. Give him a little mercy. Crank it. You're insane. You're sick on you. <laughs> you need help. Peach, let's go see who it is. Who is it? It's Leah. Let her in. I want to see Keeg. Not now, baby. I just told you, not now. Can't you see we have a very special guest here? We're giving him special guest treatment. What are you doing to him? You'd think of something like this, wouldn't you, Keeg? Just this sort of... You come here for your payoff, Leah? You think she'd do it for nothing, Fink? I told you to get out of this neighborhood. Do you see what happens? Do you see what gets you to hang around with whores? Now do you see where we are? Bitch. There's no way to speak to your lady, love. You hear what he called me? I guess he just don't like you anymore, dear. Well, why don't you give it a crank? No, wait. I want to watch him suffer a little first. I want to feel his hands. Are they hot now? Do they want to grab me now? Were you doing a little grabbing there, artist? All you have to do with Leah is ask. Isn't that right, Kate? Leah, 
Now you'll make me feel like a... Hey, kid, why don't you let him sit like this for a while? He's fun to watch. Come on, I don't have all day. You gonna crank it or not? Isn't it more fun to watch him hurt you for a while? You gonna shut your mouth and crank it? No. Well, that's exactly why you came here then, was to help him out. No, I didn't mean that. I came here to see you alone, the way you've always wanted. Look, I came to see you, kid, not him. Forget about him, let him go. You said you always wanted me. If we could only be alone. Are you listening, artist? Now, just one minute, honey. Aren't you the broad that always says you gotta be in love with somebody before you can ball with them? Hmm? And now all of a sudden you're in love with me? Come on. Tell the others to go and you'll find out. Oh, honey, come on. You're not fooling me. Now, why, Keith? Why don't you. Now, take care of her right now, and I'm not kidding. And put a little muscle and finish this punk off. I want to hear some bones crack. Hey, Leo, want to make a bet when he passes out? to a Bonnie Parker. Leah. Now, this is a bad scene, Lee. Lee, really, it's, uh, this is no good at all. Don't, King. I'll kill you if I have to. Don't let him get close, Leah. I don't want to, but I will. Well, you guys just spread out real slow. Slow. Spread out. Keep him back. Don't let him close in, Leah. Everybody just stop. Stop. I'm going to show you something real funny. Look at her hand, the one that's holding the gun. See how it's shaking? Look at your hand, dear. You can't even pull that trigger. You got no guts. Just like all women. What are you backing up for? You trying to get away? You move a couple more steps, you're gonna bump right into Peach Fuzz. Over here, Leah. Behind you. Not that way, over here. Stop it! Stop it! Just a minute, dear. You point a gun at somebody, and you better keep your eyes on him, not take him off me. Understand that? And that means me. Now, this man here wasn't gonna hurt you at all. You were the one that was trying to hurt him. I was trying to keep him from you stepping on his toes. Now I'm going to teach you a real lesson, dear. We're all going to spread out real slow. And I mean really spread out. And you... Heat. What? It's the heat, man. Where? Everywhere. Oh, come on. They don't know about this place. Yeah, but what if... Just cool it. It was Janie, man. She couldn't find Docky. They picked her up in a police ambulance. She started babbling away and told him everything. Sandy, come on. Stand up. Walk over there and take the gun from the woman. She's not going to hurt you. Now just reach your hand out, dear. That's an order. Back off. Back off, Leah. Back Don't move. Baby. I couldn't. I'll go. It was right I couldn't do it. That's your trouble, Leah. You can't do the kind of things I can do. Why, you don't even know how to hold a gun. That's right. Now, everybody else, just listen to me. I am the only person here that they want that they have anything on. So just everybody relax and be cool. Pick up all the stuff on the floor, any roaches or grass, and flush it down the toilet. Dana, come here. Go make some coffee. Come on. Now, everybody else, stay here and just be very natural. Pick up the rag there and wipe up all the blood. Get it all up. All right? Now, let them just walk in on a perfectly square coffee clutch. It's nothing more than that. Just stay relaxed and keep cool. Nobody's seen or heard from me in the last few days, either. I've been in Las Vegas. What about them? They'll talk. Well, shut them up so they don't talk. Keith, I'm going with you. Keith, I said I'm going with you. To hell if it's the only place left. Well, then why don't you take care of her, too? Well, I'm going to stay back there. I've got five of these left, and I'll let you have it. Hey, they're pretty close. Grab what you can. Let's get out of here. 